Today, we're making a strawberry cheesecake fat bomb in my low carb kitchen. Mm. This particular recipe comes from a great site and I'll put a link to it below. It's called the Keto Diet App. And the lady who does the site just does a wonderful jobs with di different recipes. The recipe I'm using is her strawberry shortcake fat bomb. And I am making a slight tweak to it just because I don't like to use as much sweetener as she uses. But I'll put a link directly to her recipe so you can see how she does things a little bit differently than me. So the ingredients I'm using are I'm using um, about a half a cup of frozen strawberries. You want to make sure you put these out. They have to be completely thawed and you want them at room temperature when you're making this uh, fat bomb. I use a half cup of butter, softened. You can use coconut oil if you prefer, and you definitely want that softened, otherwise it's gonna be too difficult to mix. I'm using about a little bit more than five ounces of full fat cream cheese, a tablespoon of vanilla extract, and the big change I'm making is when it comes to the sweetener. I'm using a powdered sweetener, which she recommends. Her recipe calls for two tablespoons. I'm using only a teaspoon, and again, because the low carb uh, sugars that are out there are basically sugar alcohols. Everything I'm reading now is that the theory used to be that, oh, you, your body doesn't absorb them. They just come right out of your body. So you, really no carbs. The truth is it looks like your body absorbs at least half of them. So I don't like to use a whole lot of them right now. Her recipe also calls for, in addition to two tablespoons of a powdered sweetener, also comes from, for 10 to 15 drops of a liquid stevia. To me, stevia is a little bit too sweet for me. If you really like sweet things, it's okay, but keep in mind, if you have a sweet tooth, you don't also don't want it to trigger you. You don't want to overeat these. You'll get a big belly ache. So with that, I'm gonna go ahead and get going. And the first thing I'm gonna do, besides moving everything out of my way, so I have workspace, I'm basically gonna take my fork and just go ahead and start smashing the strawberries. You want them softened completely, and at room temperature, they're easier to break apart. So what I'm going to do right now is start mixing everything. The first thing I'm actually going to do is I'm going to go ahead and just go ahead and put my sugar, again, I'm only using a teaspoon, in with my berries. And I'm just going to mix them up a little bit. Just let it sit there. So that's taken care of. And now what I'm going to do, put those aside, I'm going to go ahead and just add my cream cheese right off the bat. And again, you want this also at room temperature. Leave it out for about an hour or so and you'll be perfectly fine. Now I'm gonna add the butter. And again, the butter has to be softened. You don't wanna microwave your butter. You don't want it liquid. You need to have it softened so that this thing will really come together. Now the cream cheese, you could potentially soften in the microwave, but you wanna be careful. You're not baking it, you're not melting it. You want it softened though. I'm gonna go ahead and add the vanilla extract. And the next thing I'm gonna add are my berries. And you want all the juice that you can get. That adds to the flavor. Now I will say this about adding uh, the sugar to the berries to keep in mind is that if you're using berries that are in season and they're sweet enough, you may not even need any of the sugar. Again, there's natural sugar in the berries and that's perfectly fine to use. So right now I'm gonna go ahead, put this aside and I'm going to start mixing. There we go, we are set. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and get these my molds all ready. All right, I started filling up my molds and I'm just using a lollipop mold, uh, the bottom half of one, real nice, real easy. The serving size is roughly two tablespoons. One of them fills up just about a little bit more than a tablespoon. So two fat bombs is a serving size. So don't worry about that. The recipe makes about 12. I'm gonna be making 20, 24 of them. And again, two is the serving size in this particular batch. I'm using, this is really important when you're using a silicone mold, I'm using a cookie tray that I put the mold on because it's really flimsy. And when you start filling this up to try to get this to your freezer, you can lose some stuff and I made that mistake once before and I will never do it again because it took me a while to clean up my floor. But anyway, I'm gonna go ahead, I'm just using a tablespoon because that's what these fill, fill up is a tablespoon. I'm gonna go ahead and just use my knife and spread it in there. You wanna try to make it even. 
a little bit more than a tablespoon. I'm just doing my little knife and just sort of doing this. And you, I try to do everything leveled off as much as possible. You don't have to be perfect, so don't worry about that. So I'm just going to go ahead and fill up my mold. And then we'll get this puppy into the freezer. I have my molds all filled up. This batch came out to about 20. That's fine. I'll have the carb counts below, but about two of them, two tablespoons is about the serving size. So these are going to go in the freezer, but I wanted to show you what they exactly look like. This is a batch I made. This is actually a two tablespoon version of the fat bomb. The reason why I didn't make this batch um, double up on each one is because these turned out to be a little bit too big to actually eat. They are hard. Keep that in mind. You keep stay in the freezer. They're not really soft. You can let them soften up. It's actually starting to melt in my hand, as a matter of fact, as I hold it. But these are going to go in the freezer. These will go in there for about two hours. And then after that, I'll just pop them out of the mold real easily. They just flip right out of the, of the mold to just pop out the bottoms. Then they're going to go into basically a freezer bag. I'll put the date on the freezer bag just to make sure I know when I made that batch. These are my last remaining um, a few of the batch I made uh, about three weeks ago. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. Hit the like button, subscribe, and until next time. I'll see ya.